What do we got here? I've got something you might be interested in. Oh, my God. What the hell did you do with Chumley? <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try and sell my shrunken head. I used to own a pawn shop, and this gentleman brought it in, and he never picked it up. So I've been saving it all these years. Hoping to get 2000 but I would settle for $1,500. So what the hell is this thing? It's a shrunken head. All right. Where in the world did you get it? Basically, uh, someone brought it in and pawned it with me. Let me see here. Did you get any story with him or anything? I think he said it was a long-lost relative. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pawn it for? Oh, I gave him $500 for it. OK. I've been in this business for over 20 years, and I can honestly say this is my first shrunken head, oh. just when you thought you'd seen everything. <laughs> the shrunken heads came from the Amazon, you know, in South America. The procedure for doing it was they would slice them down the back of the head after they killed them, and then there was a way to remove the skull. Shrinking a head was supposed to give you control over a guy's soul. The problem is tourists started buying them, and then the law of supply and demand kicked in, and... <laughs> So governments in South America had to outlaw the trade. I'm having a few little problems here. I don't think the Amazon warriors had cotton thread. And that's what the back of his head is stitched up with. It doesn't look very aged, OK? Out in the Amazon jungle, someone would have carried this thing around for years and years and years. It's still white. Right. You know, I'm going to call it a fake, a very, very good fake. If it was real, there would be some rot in places. I mean, don't you hope it is fake, sort of? Oh, I hope it is real, because then it'll be worth more money. If it's real, some poor guy lost his head over it. I don't want it in the shop. <laughs> OK. Thanks for bringing it in. I really appreciate it, sir. But it's just something I couldn't use. When he said he was a pawnbroker, I was immediately concerned. Because if he couldn't sell it, that means no one wanted it. And that ain't good. <laughs> Can I help you? Hi. Yeah, I found this. I was cleaning out some drawers and stuff. My mother gave it to me years ago, and I was wanting to find out how much it was worth. I think it was crazy. What is it? It's a black widow. Is it poisonous? <laughs> <laughs> I just came to the pawn shop today to try to sell my grandmother's brooch that was given to me years ago. It's just a spider brooch. It's got a lot of crystals and stuff on it. I don't like spiders, so I just wanted to get rid of it. Do you know what you have here? No, not at all. This is Fabergé. Fabergé was one of the most famous jewelry designers in the world. I mean, he was the jeweler to the Russian court. This is, um, this is something right here. When people say Fabergé, they mean Peter Fabergé, one of the greatest jewelers of all time. This guy became famous for his Fabergé eggs, but he actually made everything from silverware to necklaces to rings. And just about anything he touched is considered a masterpiece. What you have here is pre-revolution Russian imperial jewelry. That's onyx underneath there. This white metal right here, that is all platinum. Those are diamonds. There's sapphires in the feet. Those are rubies in the eyes. This is the kind of stuff that royalty wears. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't believe this woman had a Fabergé brooch sitting around in a drawer somewhere. This is the one thing everyone hopes they'll stumble across when they're going through grandma's stuff. What did you want to do with it? I want to get rid of it. And how much were you looking to get out of it? couple thousand. OK. Um, I would really, really like to give you like 2,000 bucks for it. But um, unfortunately, I have a conscience. All right, um, all right I'll, I'll cut to the chase. Um, I'll give you $15,000 for it. <laughs> oh, my god, you got to be <laughs> me. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, it's. This is stuff you do not see every day. How about 17? A man that's willing to pay 15 will definitely pay 17 no, for that. No, he won't. I mean, I mean, All literally. Right, how about I, 16? I will give you 15. That's more than a fair offer on this. How about 15, five? This is why I hate having a conscience. This is Vegas, and I just told this woman she hit the jackpot, and now she wants another spin. I can pay you 15 grand. That's more than a fair offer on this. This is not something that's going to sell overnight. All right, you're a good man. OK. Thank you. Oh, my god. I'm so shocked. I mean, I couldn't believe it was worth $15,000. I had the jackpot today. Oh.